Hey, it's Grumpy again. Let's uh, get into, I mentioned in the last video how I had multiple OpenSense boxes out there. And, um, you know, you need to, if you have more than let's say one or two or three, or maybe you just want to do it with one, you're going to want a means of sort of managing them remotely because let's say you want to go in and you want to update all the boxes, you know, at the same time without having to physically log in, blah, 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 blah. Then um, that becomes kind of a, a uh, management nightmare so just quickly wanted to show you guys that uh, you can update the boxes via the API which is important because um, yeah saves you a lot of time so just if you just go to the OpenSense documentation here under the how to uh, using the API you'll see that there's an example Python script here that basically runs a check against the, uh, what this basically does is once you get your API key and your API secret and you plug them in here, um, uh, you'll be able to uh, run the script and it'll show you if there's any updates available. Um, it's not gonna perform the update. This particular uh, Python script is just gonna check and let you know what's going on status. And then down here using a, a, a curl command, you can actually schedule the upgrade of the um, OpenSense box. So I figure I'd just go through this with you um, quickly. All right, so I have my Python script uh, right here. And uh, I won't uh, show you the contents because literally it's just it's just a copy of, of the sample Python file here, just with my API key and secret changed, obviously. So if I go ahead and run this, you'll see what the output looks like. Right? And you can see that it's uh, queried the, the OpenSense box. It says, yep, there is an upgrade, uh, total download size, and number of packages as well. And this is, a, this is good to show you at this time because right now there is an update to 19.7.6. Another way you can do this is by using curl uh, to check for the status upgrade. So I will just show you guys uh, what to do here. Um, you can see there, you can see my seek my API uh, key, uh, the, my API secret and the key whatever I don't really care I'll just regenerate this um, so I will run this which is this one down here and you'll see just let that run for a sec you get the output uh, of basically it's a more detailed version of what the Python script does Python just tells you yeah there's an upgrade this is the size as the packages but you can see here the download size is uh, 43 meg, uh, the last check, uh, bah, 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 bah. the current version, where is it, updates 31, no major release, um, upgrade, need, needs reboot zero, so there shouldn't be a reboot needed to apply this upgrade. And it shows you all the packages that are gonna be upgraded. So that's another way of doing it. Uh, I prefer just the Python. Uh, sorry, I prefer just the Python here. Most of the time, I just need a summary. Right, so uh, 443 megabytes, number of packages 31. So that matches here, 43 megabytes. Uh, 31 was here somewhere. It's kind of a mess there. So anyways, if you wanted to go ahead and actually run the upgrade, uh, then you would issue sort of the bottom one here, which is this uh, posting of, of the upgrade all. Uh, okay, so let's run the update on my local box here. Uh, we're gonna run that, uh, yeah, dash K, uh, blah, 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 from our upgrade. I'm running it over HTTP anyways. Uh, okay, so we got the uh, status message of okay. And I'm just gonna do a quick looky look on the system firmware updates. Yeah, and if I go into the system firmware uh, updates page, I can see that the update is actually processing right now. Okay, so if I look in the so if I look on OpenSense in the uh, updates. For more update section, I see I see that it is complete, and if I just go quickly to the lobby, 
I can see that I'm now running 1976. So let's do a quick check on that and go back out into my, uh, and if I run, let's just see. So this is the Python script. There are no updates available on the selected mirror. So that's great. That means we are currently up to date. And if I run the check script, let that process. You'll see that uh, last check now, new package is zero, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you can see it says product version. 1976. So I hope that uh, helps some of you guys. And now obviously you're going to need, I mean, there's, these are internal IPs I'm using here uh, to connect. So you're, you're, you're probably going to want to have, uh, you're probably going to want to have like VPN connectivity to each of these open sense boxes to run through the API. I wouldn't suggest having this stuff uh, running over the internet. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.